Good morning and welcome. This is Sunrise and my name is Alero Edu. Good morning. My name is Femi Badiola. Uh, today's the 5th. Uh, what happened to you first day? Oh, well, um, <laughs> I got a call, you know, and uh, I don't say what it said at me. <laughs> and I started to make frantic calls to several people and a text message came in and the thing was like, get proof for. Okay. Okay, okay. I didn't get any such call, but I, I heard uh, something happened in my office. Somebody rushed in and said, Come and see me with your legs. <laughs> people rushed out, almost falling and falling over themselves on the staircase, and got downstairs and were oh, all of you are uh, <laughs> proof. <laughs> you know, incidentally, I, I had it in mind that I was going to actually play some pranks on people on the day of April Fool. As that, I thank God, God it didn't happen because I'm sure I was on that list. Yeah, actually on that list. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I'm number two on the list, actually. <laughs> you know, fortunately, uh, that day I, 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 I left home early and uh, the activities of the day just sucked up my entire focus. And before I knew it, until that guy came in and fooled me around 11 a.m. Thank you. By which time it was too late. It was too late to play any of all, all <laughs> well, never mind. Right. Never mind. There'll be, there'll be better days. <laughs> well, it's, it's April already and mm -hmm. it was only like yeah, yesterday we were, we were saying Happy New Year to each other. Mm -hmm. Second quarter has started, and in the course of the week, um, when the president was saying that he was granting amnesty to uh, the militants in Niger Delta, mm. um, for me, that wasn't the news at all. The news was, um, he said to us, so, oh, don't you all bother about PHCN. I have promised you that by the end of the year, we shall have 6,000 megawatts. So just look forward to that. In the meantime, just ignore the fact that right now, you're getting the power one hour in six days. Well, um, well he didn't exactly say that, but that's, I'm adding that to, don't worry, in, 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 the, in a few months, we'll have 6,000. So in the meantime... Bear with us. Well, he actually said, don't bother. Well, well, don't worry about it. Well, I'm sure the um, president's spokesman will come out and say it was quoted out of context. But um, <laughs> because you know, I mean, the speech was reported in inverted commas. Well, don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure what the president meant. I mean, I don't practice mental telepathy, so I wouldn't really be able to say mm -hmm. uh, with definiteness that this is what it means. But knowing the president as a caring man, I'm sure. Um, and being concerned himself, he has expressed, ex expressed concern over the situation in the power sector over and over. So I'd like to um, say that what the president meant is bear with us for now. We understand your pains, but just bear with us. Whatever your losses are, just bear with us. Even if you can't work because there's no electricity, bear with us. Ten years of PDP government and bear with we us. seem to be just going back because there is hard... I mean, I don't know about your neck of the woods, but in our neck of the woods, in Ikeja, there's hardly power at all. One hour in three days, in five days, is not exactly having power. So PHCN, is it getting worse? Well, Do it really get any worse before it gets better by December? You know, because the president is saying we should all look forward to December. Which we, I mean, we're actually praying and I'm wishing that December would come tomorrow. <laughs> well, the darkest time of the night is just before dawn. This is April. Yeah, the president wants us to see April to November as um, the darkest part of the night. Oh, that's a long, darkest part. It is long, but um, the president is just trying to let us see that um, there's light at the end of the tunnel, even though uh -huh. we've been having that promise since the days of IBB. Yes. Since and the 80s, we've been, we've been getting promises that Nigeria will have an interrupted power supply. Yeah. And so um, I can understand if you express, um, um, I don't want to say skepticism, mm -hmm. but I've said it already. So. <laughs> If you're expressing them. Um, so, who is the one being skeptical? Well, I'm being skeptical of your skepticism. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And remember, in the course of the week as well, PHCN actually threatened that they were going to start um, a strike on Wednesday. Yes. And funny, somehow it didn't make big news at all because I think the attitude of Nigerians was, yeah, when we didn't go on strike, like what? we didn't have power. So you know, you know, what difference I, is it going to make? Exactly. When, when I heard about that uh, intention, you know, I, to me, I felt uh, the labor uh, officials or whoever is a custodian of the labor uh, association, the PHC, should have thought of a better.